Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we're going to learn how the Japanese multiply. They're going to multiply numbers just by drawing lines. Now, this isn't necessarily equated to Japan, that's just how it's labeled online. Some people have said it's Vedic math as well, but who knows. So the problem, let's say, if I want to multiply 12 times 13, how would I do that? Well, using this number trick, we would make one line, start with the 12, one line this way, give it a space, and put two lines here. Then the 13, start in the bottom left, make one line here, and then make three lines over here. One, two, three. And make sure they all intersect here. Then what we're gonna do is space these out. We're gonna make a little U shape here and a U shape here. And what we're gonna do there now is create dots within each one of these shapes and put a number below it. How many dots there are? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Put a six down here. In the section in the middle, how many dots do we have? Or intersections? One, two, three, four, five. Get a five right here. And then just a one right there on the outside. So this answer here simply is just 156. Well, let's go try it again with something a little more difficult. And stay tuned for the end. We're going to show how we also do it with algebraic expressions. Okay? So let's go do a more difficult one right here. What about a uh, 14, 14 times a 21? All right, same idea. One line here, then four. One, two, three, four. Now 21, we have two here. One, two, then a one. Let's go space these out, make a little arc here, and an arc here. Count the dots, we have one, two, three, four. Four right there. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost got to ten. That's going to be tricky when that happens. And the left just has two. And you can check me if you think I'm wrong, but 14 times 21 is a 294. Now notice here in the middle we almost got to ten. What happens when, well, we could hit a ten. So now let's go try our problem and see what happens if this nine would become a ten or more. So let's go multiply a 15 times a 24. Well, let's set up the problem. One here, and then the five. One, two, three, four, five. Then from there, one, two, one, two, three, four. Make some spaces here. All right, let's go organize this. and use a different color to group them. We have the right group here, put it like that, and the left group as such. Now, I'm gonna go count the intersections. I know we can do it quickly with mathematics, but I'm gonna count it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 intersections there. The middle section, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Don't forget the top, 11, 12, 13, 14. Don't forget the one and the four. Left is just a two. Well, now we have two numbers that go past single digits. What do we do? Well, we only care about the first digit being that zero. We're going to keep that, and I'm going to send the two over to the left side. So the zero stays here, two goes over. Then 14 plus two is a 16. I'm going to keep the six here, send the one over to the left, and two plus one is at three. And so 15 times 24 is a good old 360. Does this work with three digit numbers? Well, let's go dive in and find out. All right, so what if we had the three digit numbers being multiplied? A 123 times, well, 321. Same idea sets up, we're gonna go left to right here, one line here, then give it a space, two lines, give it a space, three lines. Then the other one, three, two, one, three lines, one, two, three, two lines with space here between them, one, two, and the last one being a single line. Now the grouping of this is gonna be, well, a little difficult. We're gonna group them in three different, or five different sections actually here. So we have this first one here, grouped. Then we have the second one here, these two, 
grouped right here. Then the inside stays the same. We group these right there. <laughs> Be careful with where you put it. Uh, when I'm practicing this, I definitely got the wrong area. And then this right here. So now the same process still applies. Let's go count the dots that we see in each group. One, two, three. We got a three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight here. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen in the middle. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right here. Then one, two, three again. Symmetrical. Beautiful. Now our process stays the same. We have a two digit number. We're going to send the plus one here, keep the four, and then eight becomes a nine. And so this answer now becomes a three, nine, four, eight, three. So it's 123 times 321 is 39,483. Now before we get to the algebraic part here, what if there's a zero in one of the numbers here? How do you solve that? How do you use this method with that? So let's go dive into this number. 103 times a, well, 221. So we're gonna set up the same way as before, but I'm gonna use a pink line here to represent when the zero dash comes in. So again, we have one, and then space, where we would normally put the next digit here, we'll use a pink line, then go back to the blue, and we have three. One, two, three. Then from there, we have two, two, one, so we have two here, one, two, space, one, two, space, then a one. And we don't want to count any of the ones that intersect with this pink here, the pink line. So again, same process as before. We got three sections, or five sections, I would say three. One here, another one right here. Then we have these two sections here, and as such. So how many dots do we have? One, two, three, got that here. This one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, but we do not count, do not count the pink intersection, six. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, don't count these two, seven. Then here, don't count the intersections with the pink line, one, two, we got a two here, and then lastly, we got a two. This one's nice and easy, and our answers are 22763, so 22,763 is 103 times 221. Now I'm going to go erase this, and we'll go see how we can do this with algebraic expressions. Alright, so what about algebraic expressions? Let's try this expression. x plus, I'll give it a space here, and we're going to have the x again plus space. And I'm going to multiply here a 2y and a 3y. So the x's are in blue, y's are in pink. So the first expression, x plus a 2y, multiply that, we have, well, a single line for the x and two lines for the pink. Again, same idea for the second part, we have one line for the x and then three lines for the y. One, two, we still group them. We have our first group here, and our or second group and first group as such. Well, what happens here? How many dots do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, and this will represent the second part, six y squared. The middle here, well, we have a intersection that shares the x and y's, one, two, three, four, five. So we have a five y, and then the last one here is just one, and we have a one x squared. So, pretty simple here, we have an x squared plus a 5y plus a 6y squared when we multiply that algebraic expression out. Did you know about this trick? Make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. If you didn't already, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? So we got a 14 here.
So now let's go to a problem where we're gonna have a zero, we're gonna have to really kind of round up or do some something different. Did you know about this trick? If you did, let me know down in the comment section below. But if you learned something, make sure you give a likes uh, or 